Good evening, my little minion robots. I am Ben Pearson, the Roser Tracker. Um, we're going to try something a little bit different here. So if you are watching this live or shortly after it is released on YouTube, um, itch.io itch is doing a basically a fundraiser to support Ukraine different humanity projects that help the people out there that are being displaced and whatnot. And um, 100% of the proceeds go there. And while you're doing it, you can also get some pretty great games and some other cool stuff. So I decided to do it to support Ukraine, but they had some cool games that were in the bundle here. And we're going to give some of them a shot. Some of them, some of them I have played. Some of them I have not. So we're just going to see how this goes. Um, Gladiopots is one that I have long wanted to play because it's a game and it's involving programming and there are not a lot of those that are really approachable, but I really like this one. We're going to give it a shot. Um, you can just go to itch.io if you want to uh, support the fundraiser and get these games yourself. They don't have a nice little installer. You have to download them and all kinds of stuff. So, it, you know, it's a pain and the developers don't get any funds from it either. But um, it's all for a good cause, right? So we're going to see what we can do to help the poor people of Ukraine and maybe pull some attention and have some fun while we're at it too. Um, in the event that I have anyone who helps to support this you know, stream, I will just donate all of that money to itch.io. I'll increase my donation through whatever means I get, but you may be better off donating yourself directly if you so choose to. And on that note, let's go ahead and get started here. <clears throat> so Gladia Bots is a game about really programming robots. And I've gone through, you know, a lot of the training here, but we're going to just see what we can do here. I have not done any of these. Um, these are kind of the, you know, general scenarios, non-tutorial type things. So... I know that we're supposed to collect these things. You can also shoot the other robots. And the way that this works is we have some different instructions. And they start in with the leftmost instruction and working their way right until they find something that can be done here. So usually the first instruction is is what do you want to do in a retreat type scenario? So it's basically saying retreat. Well, this is a collection bot. Retreat, then score, attack, catch closest resource, and then move towards the closest enemy bot if you can't do anything else. Um, and it will attack before it catches, good. Hmm. Okay. So we have one that they're both on the collection set of instructions. Uh, let's have one be attack is okay. Elimination. We'll retreat then attack. There's no force field. Domination, retreat attack, conquer the base, no. So really what we want to do, I think, is have... What does the retreat look like? Uh, we may do something a little bit more fancy, but let's just try this out for our first purpose. So nothing too fancy. These guys are going to move towards collecting the resources. And they're going to square off and I'm going to shoot down them. Well, this person is just trying to go do his job, go collect the resource. And we're going to shoot down them so they can't actually do anything. Oh, they respawn. How interesting. 
So it seems like we have a fairly robust start for the AI. And this guy is just going to start moving towards the bot and he will probably die. But we have managed to move this, which is something we weren't able to do. So what's happening is we're retreating until our uh, force field charges. I think we could probably do a little bit better. Um, I don't really want to have a player account. Uh, cancel. All right, that seemed to do the trick. So chapter two. So we have two that are just on the generic collection. We have five different bots. Um, I'm going to set, let's have a new AI. Let's, let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to say this is a attack. This, so this is going to be under the collection folder because it's a collection mission and then it's going to be attacker. And I wonder if I can copy these behaviors. Actually, let's do collection attack. Okay. So this is going to be just a little bit different. <clears throat> this guy is going to be focused first and foremost on attack. And secondly, on uh, resource collection. So, you know, if he doesn't have anything else to do, then he's going to go collect resources. Otherwise, he's going to attack. And I want to see how that does. Whoops. Yeah, quit current mission. Uh, collect attack. So what's their deal here? Oh, wait a sec. Collection attack. That's what we actually want. We Yeah. Collection attack. Okay. Collection attack. There we go. That's better. So they're going to go blow these guys up first. And then they're going to try to collect stuff. Don't know if this will be any better, but, you know, we'll give it a shot. We probably should have at least one person who's actively trying to collect all the time. Good. I don't think we're gonna win with this. So we're gonna quit the current mission. We're gonna try this again. We're gonna try a different team setup. Collection attack. This guy is gonna be, um, we'll try just the starter collection. So one of our guys is going to go out and fight their guys, and the other guy is going to go and collect stuff. I think that will be a better winning strategy. But we'll see how this goes. Good. So we got some defense. Now it's interesting they're different strategies. Ooh. 
that little walking away motion is we're kind of flanked and it's a little bit annoying but we can blow this guy up good so it's one to one we're gonna have a hard time getting a second one good But it looks like they're having a harder time. Yee. And that was an interesting behavior. We probably should have kept pushing forward. Well, this one we'll be able to easily get. We'll be able to shoot that guy before he gets there. Okay. I think we're going to win. Let's go ahead and fast forward this a bit. But we're not going to dominate like I would like. Okay, good. No, I don't want to... Okay. That will get annoying. I wish I had done that before, but I don't want to do that on stream for obvious reasons. Never mentioned that in the tutorial. So we have one collection attack. I think we're going to have two guys that are going to be collection attack. And I think one that is default here in the collection attack, we're going to change these guys to be snipers. So these will use a different type. Oh, we can't do that. Okay. Um, we can try a shotgun. This could be fun. And then the collector will be a machine gun because machine guns, they're slow, but they effectively move the same speed no matter what. So it's gonna be just fine. Nice. Bam. Get it. Get it. Nice. This is nice. I like this. So we're causing this guy to retreat. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. This is way better. Let's go ahead and fast forward. Three. Okay, four one. Nice. Uh, let's just see if this works. Let's try Roadster Tracker. Yep, it doesn't exist. Okay. Next, this is fine. Um, little different setup, but I think this will work just fine. Let's try fast forward. Ooh, they've changed their AI a little bit. Okay, we got one in and they have yet to do that. Wonder if we can do something smarter, like try to let's see if we can change the attack routine. Nice, we got it before it got in. Okay, I'm happy with this. If we're carrying, we don't want to go into the attack routine. That is a problem. So we're going to change that for our custom attacker. Um, let's set up the AI here. So 
this attack, uh, we need a conditional. So we're going to say if condition, if I, um, I'm carrying a resource. Can I not that? Does not exist. So if I'm not carrying a resource, then we're going to attack. We've already picked up a resource. We're gonna go ahead and continue. Okay, so we died. This is fine. So we'll just play this forward and it should be the same behavior that we saw last time. You know, the shotgun, maybe we'll have it only go after... This shouldn't be this way. Why? We don't want to move there. Okay. Hang on. So let's change this up. We're going to do the same action, condition. We're going to say if uh, I am carrying a resource, This is actually the same thing. It's just done in different ways. That's fine. Then we'll move towards a person. Um, let's actually have some fun though. This shotgun, we're gonna change its attack routine. So, edit this node hmm so we have the starter kit attack can we copy this um yeah so we're gonna copy this and we're gonna call this collection uh attack sub so this is going to be just a little bit different the only thing this is going to do is prefer actually this isn't any different hang on this should actually be a starter kit the attack is going to be the same. The only thing, this is going to be close in attack. This is going to be shotgun attack. Okay, so we're going to um, duplicate this. Attack, close. Attack. Um, carrier. So what this is going to do that's different, it, it's really subtle. The What we want to do is we want to move towards the closest enemy that is um, carrying a resource. And if there's not an enemy that's carrying a resource, then we're going to, can we put another note off of here? Action, move towards the closest enemy.
Mm. Target's health. Strategic points. No. Target team tag. Um. Target's position. Distance for me, we're going to say is the closest. You know, we don't want to do that. We just want to say position in the arena, target distance from the arena borders, targets distance from closest enemy, from closest ally. So many target distance for me is the shortest. Um, hang on. I want to undo this a little bit. So I want to see, move towards the closest enemy bot. Okay. So we're going to move this over and we're going to select a new node. <coughs> action. Move towards the closest enemy bot that is carrying a resource. And if no one's carrying a resource, you're gonna move towards the closest enemy bot. Small difference, but let's try it out. Go. So it should be pretty close for the early sages. No, this guy's not moving, hang on. That's no good. You're just in full blown attack mode, which is not what we want. We want you to be um, attack carrier. That's gonna be your deal. Okay, fast forward. Okay, we're shooting this guy. Um, this guy's looking for somebody to be carrying a resource, but nobody is. So he should be moving towards one of these guys. Hang on, we got this wrong. We want to head towards the collection attack carrier. Okay. Um, move towards, not towards the closest resource. Move towards the bot that has a resource. Target status is carrying a resource. Okay. That's much better. Let's try this. Okay, now he's going in for the snipe. Okay, we blew up. That's just okay. Maybe I want to do something saying, you know, don't go after a pack. Okay, this is looking real nice. Maybe the close in attack, we don't want to retreat or maybe we want to change the retreat condition so that it's a little bit more generous. Go ahead and fast forward a little bit. We still haven't actually got anything yet. What's... Because he's on collection attack. You shouldn't be collection attack. You're just going to be straight collection. So we're going to try this again. Let's fast forward. Okay, 
Okay. This is good. Wait, why are you... You shouldn't be on collection attack. I'm confused. Um, collection attack. You are on just the starter kit collection for now. There we go. Yeah, you're going straight after him. Good. I may switch this guy up to target one of the weaker guys. I wonder if there's a if under attack drop the well it won't matter for the machine gun. Yeah, if you dropped it then you could So you're gonna go in, try to get this. Bam. So the shotgun's gonna come and go pick this guy off. So you'll fire after this guy, good. Fire. Good. When they're retreating, it seems like we need to do something a little bit more granular. So far, we've got two of them. Okay, we've got to figure out the retreat function a little bit differently there. Hmm. Yeah, the retreat function is definitely not working as well as we would like. These guys are different. Um, so we have a new bot. Let's see, attack carrier. The behavior we noticed that was funny was in the retreat. So I'm gonna add a condition in front of the retreat. Um, <clears throat> if I am my target's position from me. Why can't I do Target's distance from closest enemy is short range. Then if it's not in short range, then we will not retreat. So if we're in short range, we're just gonna keep going. Because we're probably going to blow up. You don't want to retreat at that point in time. Actually, hang on. Um, let's take a look. So we've got... Collection Attack Sub. Which is a horrible one. We should not be using this. I said this is no. We'll set you as another attack carrier. I really, really like that setup. 
And we're going to set you as another shotgun. Nope, 35% of the team. That's all we can do. So you got to be an assault, I guess. Yeah, that's a pity, but it'll do. Still, attack carrier is probably a decent strategy for you. We'll have to do something slightly different for shotguns, but that's fine. Good, they're going to go pick off this guy by himself. Oh, that's... Oh, it's because they're picking them up. Yeah, this is fine. Huh. Interesting. So they've all picked up one. And we're... We'll be able to easily get these three. With just our one. Shotgun's gonna go and hopefully blast this guy. This is definitely a different strategy though than they have been going for. We'll be able to blast this guy, no problem. is not nearly as dominating as I had hoped for. So we should probably focus a little bit more on collection here. We want to get this guy. No, 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 no. Defeat. All right. Uh, let's retry. So let's think this through. Uh, fundamentally, we have too many people that are on collection duty. So we're going to have you be the default collector. Let's, or we have not enough people on the collection duty. Yeah, I think this will be fine. He's going to go blast him. Uh... I don't want him to change targets. That's the problem. So you'll be fine. You're going to try to go after those guys and it's not going to work and then you're going to switch. Nope. You're going to keep going. You'll be in a complex set, but this is fine. So they're going to try to take this thing right there. Hmm. Blast them. Okay, hurry up. Go shotgun this guy. No, 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 no. Eee. I think we are have better AI for combat than these guys do, and we definitely have a better mix. But I don't know if we're going to win or not. Shoot that guy. Honestly, if we switched everyone to a collection system, then we may just sneak by and win. No, we're not going to win. Yeah, we defeated there. Hmm. 
Well, what was our problem? First and foremost, we would have been better off. Do we want to do a smarter collection system? No, the collection system's okay. We probably would be better off if everybody was a collection, but the attack carrier, can we rename this? Um, we're going to call this attack shotgun. So we want to move towards the, okay. We're going to add another condition yet again to deciding which one. The first thing is we're going to move towards the closest enemy. That is at least at the medium distance from me. Medium or short. So that's going to be first. And then we're going to try to go after one that's carrying something, but we're not gonna switch off like we have been. Let's see what this does differently. So, no, yeah, okay. So you're gonna go after this guy, good. You should be able to kill him. Good, good, good. So now we've got our guys in better position. I'm not convinced this is gonna do much better. Nope. Uh, yeah, let's see here. Well, honestly, we put three guys on the collection, on the default collector, and we'll have them all be assault. Starter kit, collection, starter kit, collection. Um, and we'll have our shotgun keep his maintained ability. We'll go ahead and keep the machine gun because I do like that as a slight difference. I don't think the sniper helps here though at all. So we got the first one in. I think we're gonna make it, I think we'll win this time. So we've got our assault guy is already well on his way there. And we're basically distracting these guys. So once we get there, there's a chance we'll be shot. But yeah, we're gonna keep these guys busy. Yeah, we got this. This isn't bad. Okay. Not bad. That was better. Final stage. Ay, ay, ay. 
So really, this is the key. I think we're going to try the same exact setup that we did last time. I like that setup, actually. Oh, they have a very similar one. Get him. Okay, we are slightly ahead. This guy will probably continue to do good things. This guy is going after that resource. Excellent. I think we're going to win. Hey! Level two, chapter one. Yeah. Um, same number. You know what? Let's just try it. Ooh. So maybe we should have picked a different um, order that the three were. Now this is fine. It's one to one. And these guys have the machine gun that's going against us, which is okay. So this guy will get up right there. So we're well on our way to the second one. And we're effectively fighting anyone away from this big collection. So he's going to be on his way to the third one. You're not going to make it, but you will go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the shotgun, which is not the worst idea in the world. With the machine gun, I mean. Nope. Oh, he's instead going to take on all three at once. Yeah. Hmm. What do you have here? So they're all making good progress towards their objective. But we are going to be working on all of these guys at once. Uh, yeah, this is fine. So we're, you know, roughly equal distance. we have a lot more firepower here. Of course, they're getting their machine gun in place. We're getting there. I don't know. Maybe. Okay. Hey, we did it! Woo! Woo! That was work. Still, just have four. Um, there again, this is a very symmetrical. What could we do that would improve our odds? Um, I think we're just going to see how this goes. We'll play in fast forward. Okay. Three to one. Good. And we've got uh, another one coming soon.
Okay. We just need to get one of these guys in, I believe. Which we should be able to do pretty quickly. Yeah, they would have to get both of them in, and we win here. Woohoo! I like this collection. So a bunch of assault bots. Now... We've been playing around for a while. I want to try this guy. Let's change him to... Can I switch? Let's go to um, just normal, my normal attack. And actually, let's switch him over to a um, start a collect. Let's have you be a sniper, and you're gonna go to my attack collection. No, he's the wrong one. We want this guy. This guy will switch over to attack. And this guy will switch to an assault that is on just a standard collect. And then... Mm, that guy's a sniper. Hey, that works. Let's try this. Okay. So the sniper, maybe we'll have him target the enemy with the least health that's in his range. I do kind of like that. So we're staring them down. Good, good. They have collected more. We've got to collect... We've got to make one up somewhere. But I think we're going to get this one. Once we do, though, I'm wondering what they're going to aim for. Hmm... They have those three. Okay. We got the the key one. We're chasing the wrong guy though. That's okay. He'll be dead soon. <clears throat> All we have to do is to keep these guys from interfering and maybe we can yeah, shoot them. Get it, get it, get it. Woo! Nice, nice, nice. I think we're going to be able to keep these guys from getting another one in play. You know, I shouldn't retreat if the closest enemy is carrying one of these. Well, that's an unlikely situation to happen though. Okay, so they'll be able to get that one in, but that bought me more than enough time to make it. Yeah, they're just trying to attack and they're trying to attack the wrong person. So we have the superior AI for sure. Next. Uh, yeah, let's just try it. We'll go full speed. Well, four to four. So 
we have to get this guy. Yeah, they won. This is not a surprise. Okay, this is fine. So let's tweak our AI a little bit. Let's attack or tweak this attack. Um, we want to fire. Uh, so can we switch this? Yeah, we can switch this to collection attack sub. And I honestly, collection attack sub, let's jump to you. Can we rename this? Collection attack sub, if we are the sniper, we're not gonna attack the closest one not out of range. We're going to attack the weakest health one. Very small, small tweak. Uh, also, this is collection slash attack sub. So it's four to four. Uh, we're getting somewhere. Hey, we did it. Very small difference, but it made all the difference in the world. Good. Very small things can make a huge difference when programming. So another thing that I want to tweak our attack shotgun. Let's... We want to move here. The retreat will say if... Do not retreat if we are at short range. Eh. I kind of like to go just a little bit further, but. Oh, wow. We're doing surprisingly well for this one. Okay. Next. Final stage. Let's just see how well our bots do. One to one. Uh, this is a tough area to control, but we're doing good. Hey! Good, good, good. Let's just keep trying this. Yeah, that is a problem. Hang on. Attack shotgun here. We're moving towards the closest enemy carrying a resource. But we want to move until, we want to move a little bit closer. Wonder, before we hit this attack node, let's see if we can add another action if. Uh, we want to move towards the enemy, well, hang on. 
don't want an action. We want a condition. So if there's an enemy bot, its target's distance from me is in the short range and the target distance from me is between one and two meters. How far is short range? I do not know that. Then we actually want to move closer to it. Can we say and target status is fleeing? Not fleeing. If target is carrying um, an object, if it's between one and two meters, we want to get closer. If it's carrying something. Yeah, so that's allowing us to use our shotgun. Hang on. Uh, this is the problem. Yeah, we want to quit here. Um, not quit. Teams, no, change the AI. The shotgun attack. Um, if the target is at short range. Let's try this. We're going to move in real close if it's carrying something before we attack. Real close. Why is this? It's short range the whole time, but we're not attacking this. Yeah. Hang on. And it's between. So. If we're at short distance already. Then we want to move in until we're less than one meter away. What if we, how can we do this differently? Target's current action is, we don't care because it has an object. We want it to, this is an ore. And it's between or more than two meters from me. This should do. Let's just try this and see if that works any better. Okay. Fire, fire, fire. Why are you not firing? That's too far. So, okay, this is mostly worthless. What we want to do is move towards the closest spot. Can we... 
Hmm. Let's think this through. So we know that it's going to a collection point. We want to move between it and the collection point. Move towards the enemy bot. Can we move towards the resource? No. Let's look at this a little bit more carefully. So if we're a long distance... Okay. So then we can't effectively shoot it. This is a problem. If we're, say, a long distance away from the nearest resource node. So hang on. And we are, let's say, not target. We're going to add another condition here. That's what we're going to do. So this condition is going to say, and the nearest resource not bad we're gonna do a condition so the target the resource not the resource itself hang on the strategic point no scores no the nearest enemy base is that it I don't think enemy base is what how does the collection routine work? Ally base. Yeah, it is a base. Okay. So we're going to say in the condition that the enemy base is a long distance from me. Then we're going to move straight towards the base. We're going to ignore the enemy for the moment. So targets distance... Hang on. We can do this if and the target's position distance from closest enemy base is in medium is in long range. If this is the case, then we're going to move towards the um, closest enemy base. We want to move towards the enemy base that it's targeting, but I think this is going to be worthwhile. Let's see if this works better. So we're going to move towards there. Can you fire? So we're going to let him get a little bit closer. No, that's definitely not it. We want to exclude this from a check. If the shark target's distance is short or medium range. Actually, let's see if the target's distance is greater than two meters. No. Say if it's in this medium range and if it's a long ways away, then we're just going to move straight towards the base. And we want to kind of cut it off. So 
So we're in the long range now where we should be heading towards the base. Why are we going into retreat mode? Hang on. Let's rewind this. So we're trying to attack. We can't. Go in slow-mo. Actually, let's go back 10 more seconds. So right here, what's happening? Ooh, this is actually a really cool effect. So we're trying to attack. We're failing to attack because we're too close. So at this point in time, we're moving towards the closest enemy. Why are we failing here? I don't know. Whoopsie daisies. Not dropping frames. Good. Um. So, if the enemy bot is carrying a resource, let's just get rid of this condition. So if the enemy bot is carrying a resource, let's take that off. And he's still a long ways away. Then we're going to just gun it towards him. Yeah, towards the base. This is good. I should probably add a condition. Can we shoot? Wait, we're still in this loop. Hang on. So if he's any bot is carrying a resource and is at a long range from the closest enemy. Not from the closest enemy. From the closest allied base. There we go. Let's try this now. So, okay, we're going to the base. Nice. That worked much better. Oh. Yeah, me likey. So we've effectively gained the most strategic ones already. They're going to be able to get a couple across, but no, we haven't got the most strategic ones. Yeah, we have. And we're going to be able to get them to knock that out. Machine gun's going to go against their shotgun, which we'll see how that goes. Yeah, he's carrying the resource, so he's not going to be able to do anything. Good, good, good. Boy, that one little tweak made a huge difference, didn't it? My goodness. Okay. Uh, let's just see how this goes. Don't think we're gonna quite get it. Why is he not dropping off the resource at the closest base? That's kind of silly. Oh, he's retreating. Oh. That's pretty clever. So once you go in, you're gonna. You'll fire on this guy because, yeah, that's fine. T 
technically losing here, but I think we're going to win in the end. Yeah, it's a tie now. Yeah, maybe not. Okay, go. Get it. Even if it's... If the target's a medium range away from there, we probably want to come in close. Get it. There we go. Nope. Maybe. Okay. So, um, let's try tweaking this a little bit. If it's a um, target distance from closest enemy, actually, we don't care about this one at all. Let's try this. Get it. Hang on. That was stupid. So... If we're less than a meter away, we want to attack, period. So condition the nearest target enemy bot target distance for me is less than one meter. Then we're going to sub AI the attack. Okay, let's try this. Now, wait, hang on. What are you doing here? Okay, you're... That did actually do okay. Oh, he's hanging there because there's guys coming towards him. He's defending. I actually kind of like that. A little bit but hang on there's one more thing we got to do here we've got to say and my distance is um, condition Bots myself, the target's distance from the closest enemy base is not short range, so medium or long. So then we'll do this. We're going to take that off. So basically, this will <coughs> bring us close to the base. But once we're there, we're going to stand between the enemy and the base, and we're going to defend it. Nice. So he's retreating to get his shields up, and he's going to stay here. And he's close. He's moving there. Bam. Good. I like this. This is a better system. Oh, that shotgun is working so much nicer. Oh, that's beautiful. I like it so much. We're wasting all of their time now. Granted, they're able to get uh, 
three of them in right in a row, and even this one will be fairly quick. But there we go. Shotgun now is going to defend it. Okay. We got two more coming, though, and then we got the the tiebreaker one. Hey, we got it. That was nice. I like this. Okay, they have similar. Let's just see how this goes. Uh, got one more. Okay. We won, so that's that, right? Let's just go ahead and see how it goes. Now this, hang on, he's defending the wrong base. Well, we'll think this through. Okay, I don't like this anymore. Cancel. This guy is doing stupid stuff. So we want to move towards the closest enemy. We want to move towards the base that this guy, that the closest enemy carrying a resource. Closest... Distance from closest enemy. We want to move towards the enemy base that is the closest to an enemy. This is a little bit better. This is the closest to the closest enemy. That should only apply though if somebody's carrying, oh, this guy was carrying the resource. Yeah, okay, that's fair. So he's, yeah, he's moving towards there now, which is good. What could we do that would tweak the behavior? I think as these guys get closer to my base then our setup is going to be a lot more impressive to keeping them out so maybe not oh, getting further away which we ran out of time and we defeated okay um I think we're done with this game for the night. I think I need to work on my training a little bit more, and I don't want to do that with you guys. So if you're interested, we can continue to play this more, but let's uh, try something else. I'm going to pick a different game. I'll be right back.